myself in and being fair. And so I'm so fair that everybody who has a question in finance gets it answered. But you Every, speak after Ms. Galloway, person. right now I'm trying to speed up. This is a day where I didn't want these meetings here on the same day. Yeah. I'm, I'll sit here till 8 or 10 o'clock tonight, go straight through, don't care what's happening that I'm hosting over there. So that's what's going to happen. I'm going to dig in, sit here, slow down, don't care if finance committee meeting go to five o'clock. Council days, you're speaking after every person. I'm going to do it to facilitate a meeting you if I choose. You don't tell me how to chair this meeting. You out of order. And I'm going to give you your first warning. Now I'm here to tell you. Well, appeal it. Appeal it. There's an appeal to the ruling of the chair. Is there a second? Ms. Fields? I second. Okay, state your appeal, Ms. Gallagher. Councilman Mays, you ruled me out of order. I didn't do anything but state the obvious. You're speaking after every person. You speak what is your person. appeal? That I'm speaking that after people speak? you ruled me out of speak. order and I wasn't out of okay, order. Okay, well, let's get it floor. straight. What is I your appeal? The floor. So you can't rule me out of order when you took You the said through me to Miss Steele. So you gave the chair back to me when no. you said through you, and I'm going to qualify the through you. Okay. So that's my argument, and you got your argument. Continue with your argument. Councilman because Mayor, I want this council to know clearly what you are. You took the floor from me, and you continue to take the floor from me. First, you refused to allow us to speak to somebody without saying through the chair. And now you're saying that once we say through the chair, that gives you the right to say something different. It just doesn't seem fair. I just want some answers, and although you may be able to answer them for me, I don't think that I should have to hear from you when we have an attorney, and you brought the attorney in. But my appeal was, you took the floor from me. So how can you rule me out of order when I had the floor and you had taken it from me? That's my appeal. Have we got a, pro, that's a pro side. Have we got a con? Anybody think different? If nobody thinks different, then I'll take my time to state what's different. I gave Ms. Galloway a point floor. Of, point of order, I believe. What's your point? Other council people have to speak before let the chair gets this, an Ms. opportunity. Let me to say speak. this, Ms. Fields. Really, if you read the rules, when there's an appeal, then I state what the appeal is first. Now, that's the rule. And so I let Ms. Galloway state it because I wasn't clear. It is the rule. So you're wrong. I don't have to wait till last on this. If you read Robert's rules, and if you want to take the time to read them, you should do it at home when there's an appeal. Miss, Miss, Miss Fields, you're out of order. I'm talking. You did a point of order. Now, if you want to clear it up by reading, I sit here at 5, 10 o'clock tonight. The appeal from the ruling of the chair, the chair states first. But I wasn't clear what she was appealing, so I chose to let Miss Galloway state. Now, Janelle, do you have your book here? If not, we'll recess without objection, because Ms. Fields, you really be stating stuff you don't know. You're wrong. Now, that's my ruling on your